Hi, I'm Ian Dockery, Chief Executive of Equator Global and Travel Uni. And uh, we're here at the show, day two, going incredibly well. We're meeting a lot of our existing clients in the region and discussing future plans with uh, many more potential clients uh, that uh, are keen to actually join uh, Equator Global and Travel Uni. So give us a bit of a Travel Uni and Equator in a nutshell snapshot for those yeah. that aren't you know, familiar Absolutely. with you. So Equator builds uh, e-learning programs for primarily destinations and hotels, but also airlines and attractions. Uh, we build the portal for the client and it looks and feels like their, their portal to the trade. We, we cover the trade throughout the world. Uh, so uh, we have throughout the world, through Travel Uni, which is our community of, uh, of learners, uh, members we call them, um, they're primarily frontline travel agents, uh, sales and tour operators, and uh, we, we market the products that we uh, are promoting to a community of about 320,000 uh, people throughout the world, um, which is, we've become global, uh, strangely, in the last three or four years, during the COVID uh, situation, where people were allowed to learn, but they actually couldn't probably work. <laughs> so there's been a huge uptake in, in online learning, uh, and, and it continues to this day. Absolutely, and not obviously being able to work being one, but also not being able to travel too. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, they, they, they uh, really uh, uh, took a huge amount of time um, learning, and uh, yeah, very much to the benefit of a lot of destinations who now are seeing the benefits of, uh, of, of uh, I suppose, a, a market that's been reinvigorated with people with a lot more budget. Uh, through the last few years, people were uh, saving their money and now they're spending uh, a lot of money on luxury trips and so on. So there's a big upsurge in uh, high ticket travel. And what they need to do is have a conversation with someone who's fully aware and has deep knowledge of the destinations that they're considering. Correct, and that's where we come in because we've been promoting always to the trade and everybody in the world now is realising the importance of the trade for many things, advice, uh, security, uh, they, they, they really now are turning to the travel industry, to the trade, for that security, that information. Um, and there's a lot less... Uh, I suppose a lot less dependency on online it may come back, but, but it's great to know that the intermediaries are really coming into their own. So tell us about some of your customers. Well, in this part of the world, we work with quite a number of, of companies. Uh, we're just about to launch Egypt in, into the, U, the uh, UK market. Um, we are now working with Oman. We're doing a lot of work with Oman, the government of Oman, uh, both from the point of view of the promotion of uh, the country but also helping them to get their message across to their stakeholders in the country as well. So there are a couple of examples there of what we're doing. We've also worked for over eight years with Jumeirah. We, we've been working with them on a global program um, and uh, incredibly successful. We have uh, 20,000 uh, agents um, uh, on, on their particular site uh, and uh, it works incredibly well. I mean, very successful group. Um, in England, uh, it's fascinating. We, we do all the e-learning for ABTA, which is the trade association, uh, and we have done for six years. Um, incredibly popular. We have 32,000 of their members, uh, who are our members, and in the UK alone, we have 80,000 uh, people uh, working through Travel Uni courses. Um, so it is a very big community. North America, we have 50,000 in Europe, throughout Europe about 140,000 plus and growing dramatically in Asia and here we have a very very big uh, big market penetration into the trade as well. How do you uh, typically kind of measure the impact of what you do? Yeah well two things really, number one is the number of people that are signing up, number two most importantly is those that complete the training for obvious reasons. Um, and also, we've just reintroduced, or we, we're introducing now, a reward scheme. So the agents and the tour operators, allow, they can upload their, the bookings they make to their, uh, basically, to their record, and therefore our clients can also see their productivity as well, proving to be very popular. Hotel groups have embraced it, obviously, very quickly, and the destinations now are doing the same thing. And it's, it's a very, very clear measure 
because we have so much data um, and this is adding to that data, incredibly rich data. So I'm a government, I'm a destination, I'm a brand, um, or I'm a travel agent or travel professional myself. Yeah. How do I find out more? Okay, well, the best thing to do is to sign up to travelunique.com and there you'll find all the portals, all the sites and trade sites we build. There's about 60 there. Uh, so sign up to that, register on that. Everything is free, completely free to anybody that wants to use it. And uh, that's the best way because you can just work through that whole, um, effectively, it's a huge directory of information. Um, but it's all, um, you know, all, all the people we work with uh, put an enormous amount of information there. And it's all in, in, a, in a learning environment. Ian, thank you so much for joining us here at uh, Arabian Travel Market. Good, thank you very much.